Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Today we're gonna to take a look at Final Draft and more specifically, we're gonna look at uh, how you use cards in Final Draft 12 slash 13. I mean, I haven't looked exactly into all the details of how different 12 and 13 are in terms of stuff yet, but this will get you at least uh, a working knowledge of how cards work because uh, 12 and 13 are not very different from one another. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have loaded a script. Uh, the script I've been working on recently is called Void Raiders. And so I have the script all loaded in. It's not very long, it's about six pages or so. So there's a couple different ways we can look at cards. The first way we're gonna do that is we're gonna be right on the main menu here. I'm gonna to go to views. And there's a couple of different ways, there's a couple of different ways we can just look at your script. And I think we'll just go over those real briefly. I'm in the normal view, we're on the page view, which is basically you know what, what script is per page. And then you have a script, sort of a, so everything sort of mashed together a little bit more. You have like a, I think that was called the speed view. Uh, you have a beat board, uh, which we haven't done anything with yet. That'll be a separate video. Uh, you can have your scene view. So we have all the different scenes laid out. And again, you can move the scenes around here. So if you wanna move the interior shuttle up, uh, to the hangar, you can do that and we can move it down. When you're moving stuff, you'll notice a little red uh, part. You can see the red part here, meaning it'll stay right where it's at. Uh, and that red part was just on the top here. So if I move this down, we need to have the red part. So I get, so I grab the scene here and then I'm just going to, as you can see, it's red below. So that's gonna mean it's gonna go below the hangar here. There we go. So it made it below the hanger. So that's one way. And this will this will shift in the script as well, too. And we'll see that here when we take a look at cards. So again, this is just the scene view. But now let's take a look at the card view. Um, and so you can diff see different cards here. And you see that there are four across. Now we can change how many cards are, are across. We can also, this is the script. And so each of the cards has each of those scenes on the card. So all that scene is on that particular card. Uh, you can also look at index card summary uh, and I've added the word beginning and also second scene so you can see I've actually and I'll move this scene back to where it goes and so there we go second scene uh, so these are just summaries that you can put on those particular scenes so that way um, once the if you have too many cards out at the same time it's hard to sort of see stuff and so you're either going to have to identify stuff uh, from where they take place the scene heading or you're gonna to have to take a look at the summaries. Let's take a look at how to change the number of cards on a on the um, workspace here. So you simply go to view, and you'll see this again too. We had all those different views that we had right in the top part uh, on the on the um, on the dashboard. Now, if you just click on the menu for file, you can see you have the normal view, uh, the, the page view, the speed view, the beat board, the scene view, uh, the script. Um, that we just got done seeing and we're in the index card summary. So the number of cards you can have going across are nine and then you can simply switch to a different number. And as you can see, you can just barely make out those different uh, summaries on there. Uh, so if you, I would suggest you don't go this far. I would probably do, so if you can see the summaries best, I would probably go to, to, a, to a, uh, a higher number. And again, that goes back to view. Um, now, let's see if it'll let me, yep, it'll let me uh, pick a different number. So let's say, let's do five, and it's a little easier to see here. You can see uh, stuff around here. And again, as I showed earlier, it's easy to move the scenes around back and forth and, and, and like this, and you can just write on here as well too. So just click and you can put what you want down, third scene, um, you know, love scene, etc. You can write whatever you want. Uh, and so this is, again is just a summary. This will not show up in the script. So if we go back to the script view and we look at that third scene, we go back to normal view and we're in that third scene right now, you can see that there is nothing in here that says love scene or anything like that. It's just, just the script. And so the summary piece only will show up on your cards. Um, again, there's two different ways to get there, either here on the dashboard, here on the uh, in the program, or you can go up to the uh, uh, file up here, uh, the menu uh, part up here where it says um, view, and then just pick, again, if you want to pick summary, or again, you can pick, you know, if you want to look at the uh, script itself. So there's index cards for you. 
Uh, let me know what else you'd like to know about Final Draft 12 slash 13. I'm hopefully going to do a more in-depth review of 13 and the differences between the two coming up. But this should help uh, get you uh, able to move stuff around in your screenplay. And again, if you move a card, that information will change in your screenplay as well, too. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.